Mario Sister Caveman would really start getting around in the 1960s by people drawing in subways, cars, and other places. In the 1980s, it started to be announced as an official art being put in galleries like the Museum of Cutorium in Los Angeles. To this day, people do graffiti all over the place like skate parks, sides of buildings, and even trains. But the biggest reason graffiti is also popular is because many people are creative and have no other way to express themselves on the streets. I think graffiti is a good thing because it's another way of expressing art because it involves sort of drawing just with a just with some paint and in a can. In this generation people think that graffiti is vandalizing and people will get in trouble for for it plus a fine even though all they are doing is having fun enjoying themselves. My name is David Williams and I go to JMA and I am currently 16. Uh, so do you think um, graffiti is a good thing or a bad thing and why? Well, it depends because if you, like say if you were to tag a school with graffiti, it'd be bad, but if it was like on a public wall or so, like they have in I think Chicago where you could do it legally, then it's a good thing. Uh, so do you think it's, uh, it should be legal? Um, no. I don't think it should be legal. Why not? Because if you was able to put graffiti wherever you want, not to mention it may be inappropriate, imagine putting one near a school. That'd be terrible. True. What is your favorite style of graffiti? Hmm. I like pop art graffiti, such as, like, when they make artists, like, rap artists on walls and such like that. Yeah. Uh, do you think it's vandalism or an art? I think it's a free art style because you're putting it wherever you want, but most people will look upon it as vandalism. Well, that's all the questions we have so far. Um, thanks for coming. Yeah. So far, people have said that graffiti is a good thing, but not all people would agree with them. My name is Lamar Belcher. I go to Journalism and Media Academy, and I'm 17 years old. So, do you think legal, do you think graffiti is a good thing or a bad thing? I think in the sense of artistic expression, graffiti is a wonderful medium. I think in the sense of property damage, graffiti uh, really destroys, you know, environments, bring down, brings down uh, values of surrounding places. And why would you say that? Well, it depends on the graffiti. You can have some crappy guy, you know, my name is Dave, on the side of a, you know, shop, shop right or something. Or, or you could have a really experienced artist have do this, uh, I'm sorry, the Naruto hands is really messing me up. Or, um, or you could have a, um, a, you could have a very experienced graffiti artist uh, make this beautiful piece of art on the side of a building. But again, the property owner might not be too kind. So should it be legal? Graffiti should be le mm. Graffi graffi drawing on people's buildings shouldn't be legal. Um, if the person who owns the building says, sure, go ahead, make whatever you want, make a mural, draw this picture, fine, that's cool. But don't just, you know, destroy people's property. It's uh, just for kicks. So what is your favorite style of graffiti? My favorite style of graffiti, I'm not too educated on it. I don't really like uh, the graffiti art style. I'm into a lot of art, though, so just graffiti in general. If it looks good, it looks good. Is, well, is graffiti vandalism or art? Uh, both. If it, yeah, if it's not if it's not sanctioned by the property owner, then it's vandalism. If it is, it's art. Uh, but it depends on the taste of the person too. Yeah. So thank you for coming. That's all the questions we have. Spicy. Thank you for having me. My name is Jamie Verab, and I teach at Journalism Media Magnet Academy. Is graffiti a good thing or a bad thing? I think graffiti is a good thing because graffiti pretty much means an artist expressing themselves in a different level other than what we know as traditional or digital art in the 21st century. So them express themselves through paint, um, on natural forms, or man-made objects. Should it be illegal or illegal? I think it could go either or. I think it could be legalized in reference to having an area uh, that is dynamic enough and enriched enough to have graffiti. And I think it really shouldn't be an art form that should just be placed anywhere, like on our professional buildings or our professional schools. I think it kind of can go either way, as long as there's a documented area for them to do their art and express themselves. I think that would be perfect. What's your favorite style of graffiti? 
Um, can you let me know on some forms of graffiti? Like tagging, pop art. I guess I'll just be honest and answer. I didn't really re realize that there was multiple forms of graffiti. I was just taking a graffiti as an art form in general of itself and saying that it's just one artist expressing themselves, whether it's through signs or symbols or different angles of structure in reference to art. Is graffiti vandalism or an art to you, like an overall? I think, again, it can go both ways. If it's done on the side of a bus, it's wrong, right? If it's in an area where it's, uh, there's, a, there's a freedom of, of art on a particular wall that they choose in the city of Hartford or something like that, then I think it would totally be art. So I think it's art on any point that you look at. It. I just think there's a good way to do art and just a bad way to do art based on location. Okay, thank you for your time. Anything for you. As we've seen, not all people will see graffiti as an art form and a good example for our upcoming slash future generation.